You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. you. Hey, everyone. Listen to this nice little thought that uh, Chris Clark wrote to us on Facebook. Drone You, thank you. This weekend... I was able to pass the 107 test. I did this by reading your material only. I did not look at the FAA published study guide or any other website or blog. I owe my passing grade to drone you and all the time and effort you put into your comprehensive 100 plus page study guide and questions. While it didn't cover everything, it covered most everything. Thanks again. That is very gratifying. That's what it's all about. And kudos to Paul, who put tons of hours Whew. into that study guide, and it continues to be developed and be even better than what Chris was dealing with. So There is no greater feeling than knowing other people have passed because of you, and there's no greater feeling than knowing that we're helping people here. And it's not just me. It's a community thing. Like We've all oh, worked yeah. together. It's not just a me thing. Yeah, I know I... I did put that together, but again, had lots of help. We had so. Ted Wilson at the training, um, and a little bit of input from him, even in this training guide, which... Which, guess what? You're going to see Ted Wilson again, October 8th and 9th. If you want to attend you. a live course from Drone U, we'll be in Denver, Colorado, October 8th and 9th. You can sign up at DroneUlive.com. Again, that's DroneUlive.com. Check it out. You can also attend via the live stream if you want to go to that class, listen in, become a part of it, get engaged, interacted, be able to hear what the audience is saying, be able to hear the questions that are being asked, and really feel like you're a part of the class so it keeps your attention focused, then you're going to want to attend the live stream. And you can purchase that at DroneUlive.com. If you guys are just looking to get certified real quick and you just want the study guide and you want the class and you want to be done with it, you can do that now. That is available. Or you can become a DroneU member and save lots of money. Go to the DroneU.com. Yeah, one way I would look at this class, if you're evaluating whether it's something that you should do or whether you or you want to do, um, my hunch is that most of you, if not all of you, are very busy, right? And so you're deciding... When can I get this in? When will I find the time to study? Well, we know that many of the people who went to the class, either via live or live stream, they were in that same boat. And what they decided was, I'm going to sort of just go all in, do the class, which was a pretty intensive, essentially 17, 18 hours over two days, and then take that and review for a few days after that and then knock it out and the vast majority were successful doing that. Point is, you can get it done very, very quickly if you use something like this to help you do so. Definitely. I think it will, it will really help you out. In fact, we know it will. And if here it is. If you don't get 90% on our quizzes, you're not going to pass. If you can consistently get 90% on all of our quizzes on our website, you're going to pass no matter what. Yeah. I will guarantee it. I don't know, Drone, you will, but I will. I don't know, <laughs> so. I don't know what that guarantee means. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, let's let's get right into today's question. Um, in fact, this is something that we have talked about before. I, I've mentioned it as app control on utilizing your drone with the app. If you don't have the smoothest fingers on the sticks, how can you get super smooth motion without being good on the sticks? Uh, this is the same question, just uh, kind of worded an entirely different way. In sure. a whole new perspective, but we're going to give you the answer, and maybe it'll help you out on windy days. Maybe it'll help you out when uh, you've had too much caffeine and you can't stay steady on the sticks for whatever <laughs> that's reason. Right. Uh, that's happened to me before. Even um, with your finger, you yeah. Seem yeah like uh, hey, well, you know what? It might be a little bit better. <laughs> but maybe I don't know. <laughs> Let's get right into today's question. Hello, Paul and Rob. This is Les from Atlanta, Georgia. I have a question regarding cameras and functionality of the cameras on drones or for drone technology. And I was wondering if I could pick both of your enormous brains about technology of cameras regarding um, auto movement. And so my question is, do you think that sometime in the future that uh, drone cameras will uh, evolve to become better, I suppose, to allow you to auto rotate or auto pan, not necessarily pan, but auto rotate up and down, um, I guess in pan, uh, while you're flying over so that you could maybe on the app pick a point that you want to fly over and instead of having to use the finger button to roll or to um, 
move the camera, it would automatically do that for you. So just a thought, wondering if you guys might have any ideas or thoughts about that. Do you think it'd be coming out or is there something in the pipe that uh, you all know about? Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for the question, Les. I love Les because he's he's new to drones. And, and I know that not because of this question, but because he's asked other questions and he made it clear that he was new to drones. So he's just, th he's just exploring and throwing all these ideas and these questions out there. And some of which may already be possible, but he'll figure that out and he'll learn that and we can help him. I would laugh really hard if this is actually Les Dorr from the FAA. I would it, laugh really, really hard. It's not. If he's trying to play it off like, oh, I don't know what's going on with drones, pan, tilt, oh. rotate, whatever those things are. That, well, I don't know what he sounds like. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But, um, I, you know, it is possible right now to fly an Inspire 1 and utilize the app control to get panning motion, tilting motion up and down, or a combination of tilting and and panning. Okay. Um, now, thanks to the Z3, though, we can also use zoom. So if we want to zoom and pan and tilt and all that, we can do that as well. But it's going to take two operators. That's why when I first got the Z3 and I posted that video on Facebook where we're moving, we're panning, we're tilting, and we're zooming, and people were like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. No one really knew that the only way you can do that is if you have two people. You can't do it with one person. Okay. You've you don't gotta, have enough fingers, basically. You don't have enough fingers, yeah. Because yeah. if you're flying the bird and you're utilizing zoom, that's C2 and and the tilt wheel button, mm -hmm. uh, and then you'd have to have a whole other hand to move the camera at the same time. Okay. So it could be really difficult. Yeah, and I, I can imagine they kind of get all contorted trying to, to do it on your own. Hands. <laughs> so one of the but one of the things I hear less asking is, can that be done automatically? Uh, programmed essentially to do it for you. So all you're doing is flying and the camera's doing what you've asked it to do. So right now, uh, with the DJI Go app, we can utilize our finger to make movements, we can move the camera around, get nice slow movements, but we can also use the Litchi app and okay. actually set points that we want to record. And we can set times, like this is one thing that 3DR did that I thought was actually really brilliant, was you know you can set the time that it takes for the camera to tilt up and down. That's cool. So you can do that in Litchi too. Um, I'm not sure if you can set movements yet though, where you can move your finger and then get a nice movement while you're flying, if you can set that and then go back to your home point and, and fly again. Not sure if that's possible, but you can do autonomous movements through the Litchi app, and it's actually a, a really handy thing. But remember, guys, you know, uh, you've really got to be able to fly well. If you're looking down at the sticks all the time and you're looking at the app all the time, you've got to make sure you have a visual observer there mm -hmm. uh, to watch that bird because bad things can happen really quickly. So, Yeah, those trees come up quick or those power lines come up quick. Yeah, they do. Or whatever else. Oh, yeah, they do. It comes up so, really, really quick, and then before you know it, Yep. Before you're, you know it. Oh, no. You're hating life, oh, which no. we don't want for anybody, obviously. All right. So it is possible. And, and from what we've heard, the Litchi app is, is a pretty good app. I yeah. mean, it's gotten it good is, reviews and people seem to be relatively happy with it. It is possible through DJI Go, but it is possible to program these same movements through Litchi app. Um, but I will say I love DJI Go. It works awesome. A lot less problems than Litchi, but Litchi does work well for people. So yeah. All right. I think it's a simple solution. I, and, and you know, if you have a question, make sure to go to askadroneu.com. I know that wasn't the most complex question, but think of it like when you're controlling your Osmo, that same blue circle when you tap and hold and to move the camera around is the same thing you can do on the Inspire 1. You cannot do it on a Phantom 4. You cannot do it on a Phantom 3. So do not try to do it. But uh, on an Inspire 1, you can. X3, X5, Z3, whatever you want to fly, it can work. Which, by the way, this is a function of the software, not the camera that we're talking about. Just to clarify. Uh, it's not right. physically possible on the Phantom 4 or the Phantom 3 because the gimbal is fixed. It is not cannot move 360 degrees. Got it. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. So, so that would be hardware yeah. and software. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a combination of both. Right. So. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Again, if you are looking to become one of the best pilots, you want to gain that competitive advantage, you want to learn about COAs, you want to learn about getting your license, and you want to learn from other guys, and maybe you want to find your niche, that those jobs that have really high paying profit margins and don't take a lot of post-production or work. Learn the systems, routines, efficiencies, everything you need to know to maintain that competitive advantage in the DroneU community. That's thedroneu.com. Yep. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask DroneU. <laughs>